Hi, my name's Taya and I was lucky enough that during my Level 3 Business Administration Apprenticeship with the Surgical Intervention Trials Unit at Abingdon and Whitney College to be awarded the Oxfordshire Apprenticeship Award 2020. I was then invited to be a part of the Oxfordshire Apprenticeship Awards Committee uh, in 2022 and co-hosted the awards ceremony. So I've been involved in the process for a few years now and I'm here today to give you some top tips on what to do when asking to be nominated for an apprenticeship award or when nominating yourself for an apprenticeship award. So my first top tip would be don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to approach your line manager or a colleague and ask to be nominated for an award or even just make your colleagues aware that the awards are coming up. Also, my next top tip would be to believe in yourself. Uh, so if you don't want to ask to be nominated and you believe that uh, you deserve an award, you can always nominate yourself. Uh, so some standout uh, applications um, examples include going the extra mile in your job. So this could include this could include improving a process or supporting uh, the business you work for during a busy or difficult period. Uh, this can include showing your passion for apprenticeships uh, or and making the most of opportunities that are presented to you, such as becoming an apprenticeship ambassador, attending career fairs, uh, and just really sharing your knowledge about apprenticeships to others. Now, this list isn't inclusive and could include many different aspects um, that you've done throughout your apprenticeship. So if as an apprentice, you would like to nominate yourself or be nominated for an award, these are the top tips that I would give you. Um, and also some examples of what you could do to have a standout application.